Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in mid-journey and I'm gonna show you how to create icons and I'm gonna show you how to vectorize them or turn them into scalable vector graphics for free. This is awesome if you're looking to create icons and you don't wanna go through the process of either buying them or drawing them. I'm gonna show you how to do it through mid-journey and it's wild. So here's some examples. So here's some fancy English Bulldog icon. I click on it, I got four examples. The one on the bottom right is absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna use that one. But to do that, all you gotta do, and I'll just show you here if you're not sure, if it's your first time using it, all you gotta do is forward slash imagine, hit enter, and then go fancy English Bulldog icon and hit enter and it will run it. Now, let's go back up there and take a look at what I was doing here. So there it is, Fancy English Bulldog Icon. And then here is another one where it says Fancy English Bulldog Icons. So one is plural, one is singular. I bring that, I show that to you because you can either get a single icon or a icon sheet like this. This is the other example. If I click on this, you get one of these cool icon sheets. Now, in order to select it, for this one here, you just click on U4, and that just means upscale. So I'm going to create an upscale sample of that one. That's the one I want. And for this one, let's go with, I don't know, let's take the bottom right one. I kind of like, uh, I like this guy here. So I don't know, let's go U4. Also, if you want to make variations of them, you can just click on the V4, but I assume that you're familiar with these um, options inside Midjourney. And here's just a few examples that I ran. Here's one that I upscaled, and look at this. This is a cool icon. So I'm going to right, I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to save the image. And I'm going to save it into my downloads folder. And yes, I've already saved it, so I've just overwritten it, but that's all you got to do to save an image. And then here's another example. Which one did I just do? I just did this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And then I'll look at that guy in the middle. What's going on there? And then I'm going to save that image and presso. So we've gone ahead and we figured out how to create icons. And then we've saved the images to our drive. And if we look here, here's an example and here's an example. Now, also, you'll notice that they're .png. Okay, no big deal. Let's go now to the vectorizer. So what you got to do is you got to go to this website, vectorizer.ai, and notice that I'm not logged in and I haven't created an account. This is currently a free beta website and it is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this, this icon of this bulldog with his fancy hat looking all dapper and I'm just going to drag and drop it on here. While I do that, you'll see it does two things. It uploads it and it processes it and then it actually fetches it. Actually, that's three things that I can't count. And fetch, no, that wasn't even planned. How cool is that, right? This is how you know it was meant to be. So it takes a few seconds to do this. Come on down. And then we're going to get an amazing vector. So this is the left side. This is the original image from Midjourney. And the right side is the vector. And it is almost perfect. The only slight difference is a little bit here on the corners, if you ask me. So all you got to do now is click on the download button and presto, you get some options. I'm going to download it as is, but you can make some minor changes to it. But honestly, it downloads almost perfect. Like it's just absolutely crazy. You'll see here that it says dot, dot, dot SVG. So you know it's a scalable vector graphic. I'm going to select it here. And then if you want to double check, open up something like Illustrator and then just drag it in, drop it in just like this. And presto, take a look. If there's, if there's layers over here, bang, every single one of these paths is a layer and a path. How good is that? And if you really want to check, you can just check and see if the blue dots are here. We have created a, an amazing icon, vectorize it from mid-journey. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.